Hi, and welcome to another video. So in the previous video, I talked about how to use HTML to Canvas and how to use JSON.PDF in order to download HTML in the form of a PDF while maintaining all your CSS. But sometimes you run into that very, very weird situation where you have a, a scroll bar and you need the scroll bar because um, in order to print properly. So if I click, click to download, I click open file, let's say that I needed the width in order to do this. And, and sometimes you do, sometimes um, you, need, uh, you need the entire width because remember if I turn this into let's say 100, and I only made a few changes since last time by making this all in millimeters and changing this width and height. But now if we refresh, you can see here that it is in phone view. In phone view, you can see that it turns out like this. So, so if we click inspect, you can kind of see here that if I wanted to download the PDF in phone view, then it turns out weirdly. So even if, uh, if I didn't set my width here and I refreshed, this would be in phone view and this would be normal. And if I always want it to be normal, then I'm gonna have to set a width. But here's the thing. If I do that and I click inspect and I click clicks to download and I open up, it still turns out fine, but uh, sometimes if I like shake the page, I think that it's downloading too fast for you to see. But if I shake the page, then the PDF will get messed up because of the scroll bar. So there's actually a solution to that problem, and I just wanted to address that in this video. So what we're going to want to do actually is we're going to want to create an iframe. And this iframe is just going to um, link to another file. So in order to do this, I'm first going to create another file. I'm just going to call this download.html. I'm going to create my basic file. And you don't really need to care more about the specifics of this just because the user won't ever see this document. So um, unless they're weird and they put slash download the HTML on the, the bar, but hey, that's called exploring and being curious. But um, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to create an ID, say that this is like download element, doesn't really matter. And I should probably spell that right. Perfect. And you're just going to want to create a script file. And that's really much it. So when we download, you can kind of see here that we are downloading document doc element by d dot what to print. So the smart, uh, what you can do is that you can either move this to download to HTML, but if you want to display it, you probably want it here. So what I'm going to do actually is do local storage, and that is just like locally storing it on your um, browser dot set item. I guess materials, I um, don't really know, maybe you can say uh, download element. And uh, you, you can set it to document.getElementById, what to print, dot inner HTML. And I can actually move this above this um, command here. If you want it to say click to download instead of currently downloading, please wait when you want to download. So. I'll actually just do that really quick and perfect. So now if you go back over here, just say local storage dot get item. Um, what did we call it? Download element. So down, download element. And we're just going to set document dot get element by ID download element dot inner HTML to local storage dot get this element. So that's all we need to do. What it will do is that when you click download, this document will set its um, inner HTML to the local storage. And that prevents you having to use window.location.href so you don't have to transfer 
um to another um browser because then that uh, that like it shows the user your secret file and you don't want to do that so after that what you're going to want to do is you're gonna um do right uh, you can i'm actually recommend it right over here so i'll just do id um a place to put iframe and then you can say uh, you can do um document dot get element by oof that's not what i wanted document dot get element by id place to put iframe dot inner html and you can set it to the iframe so the iframe is going to have the id of the frame this is custom to what you want the source the source is important it's going to be the second html document so download the html and i think that is it and uh for now it's it for now we're obviously going to do more with it in a few minutes but um and now that we've done this all we need to do is um get the iframe so we're going to do document doc get element by oof this is not working well today as you can see um the frame dot content document and what this will do it will get the HTML inside the iframe. And this is important because you can have what you're downloading in the separate document without having to um, navigate there and you can access that. And that's super helpful. And that's um, kind of the critical point of the iframe right now. And then I'll just, and we're just going to set this to downloading. So instead of having what to print here, we're just going to set this right over here so now if you save this and remember um, I just commented out the image code but if you want to put an image go ahead and do that just uh, you need a host like I talked about last time like Nellify now you can refresh your page when you click click to download you can see your um, separate document here and all you need to do is uh, but here's here uh, there is a few like where things going on and um, let's fix that up. So first you can see here that this is still taking up the entire width. So instead of putting this right over here, you can put this um, over here. So you can have this element be the width of uh, the entire width that you want. So now if I refresh, this is working fine. But if you go over here, you can see that it, this maintains that width. Additionally, you can see here that you obviously probably don't want this like here. <laughs> so in order to change that, what you can do is you can do style and, oh, whoops, single quotes because I'm using double quotes here. And we want the style, you can set the width to 1px, the height to 1px, and visibility to hidden. So what this will do is that um, you can't do display equals none because you still need it on the page, but it will hide it so that you can't see it anymore. And um, the advantage of setting width and height equals to one is so that they can't accidentally, you know, like scroll in it. So this is kind of the code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer over to Nullify and we can test it out. So now this is Nullify and I just changed my code just a bit. I enabled the image because now we should be able to download images. I uncommented this code and I took this line outside of my print statements that that, that, that won't come inside the document. So now if I click, click to download, looks like there is an error. So if we go to console and expect, it says, Okay, so let's go to index. Okay, it looks like there is an error. So let's jump over back to our code and see what that is. So the issue is that we're just doing content documents and you just need to do one very tiny step. Just take this, um, actually I'll just like, take this entire thing cause I'm a little lazy and I'll put this over here. You do dot get element by ID because this just gets the document you want the HTML, right? 
So now I'm going to re-upload this to Nullify. Okay, great. I just re-uploaded it. And let's try it again. Okay, looks like there's an error. Cannot read property length of null. Where is that? Oh, let's actually take a look at which line that is. Hmm, <clears throat> looks like it's still in this um, area over here. So what I'm going to do so actually, um, I just finished solving the bug. What we want to do is that we want to initialize the iframe before we download. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to, when the page loads, we're going to set the local storage. And then we're going to have this button. And on click, it's going to run this function called ready, which is going to put the iframe on there for us. And since we already did the local storage here, you don't need to worry about that. And uh, because the download.html will be already prepared when um, the iframe comes on. And then we're just going to change the button area to not have this button anymore, but to have that a href that we were looking at before. So, and then the rest of the code is still the same. We still, except for we remove that code from here, we just have currently downloading, we get the iframe.content document that gets the HTML inside that iframe. Dot get element by ID is getting the download um, element. So we can get this um, element right over here, and then we can proceed with downloading. So now if we run this code, we press ready. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to initialize the iframe for us. And actually, um, just so that we can see that, I'll remove the visibility hidden just for now, just so that we can see it. And I'll make this like 10 px and 10 px. So I'm just going to copy like the old CSS so that because uh, I'm lazy. And I'm going to put 10 here here and remove this. So now I re-uploaded the code. You can press ready. You can see that the iframe now comes. It's a little bit too small. Sorry about that. Um, but over here is going to be um, it's going to be initialized. And then when you click to download, all right, looks like there is an error. Let's look at that. Tainted canvases cannot be exported. That's super weird. So, hmm. So I just commented out the image just for now, temporarily. And as you can see, if we reload the page, click ready, click to download, we get the document that we wanted. It doesn't have our CSS just because we forgot to put this link in the second page. So let's do that quickly. And then now if we re-upload the code, and I'll do that in right now. And you click ready, click to download and open file. Huh. Let's actually take a look. Oh, I see what the error is. So what we're going to want to do is you probably want to also put uh, another ID, download element. And now if you retry it, it will work. So hopefully this idea of having an iframe helps you out when you are trying to use HTML to Canvas and um, JSON to PDF to download documents. See you in the next video. Bye.